Hello to all of my friends around the world. It is your buddy Keith here at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. I've got for you today the coolest, most special Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray bass that I have ever seen with my two eyes. This thing is so cool. Let me adjust the lighting a little bit here. It looks brand new. You've already probably seen either the listing for it or the title, but if you haven't, try and guess what year this bass is. Gorgeous bird's eye maple neck. Uh, up and down the whole thing. I've never seen a neck like this on a bass. But this is a 1988 bass. And it's just in incredible condition. Everything on the guitar, all of the hardware appears to be totally original. You've got the Music Man bridge there. Let me focus. There we go. And you can see that serial number lurking between the saddles. It's 027070. That's the serial number. These are all nice and intact. I mean, this, this bass is just so clean. There's minimal, minimal signs of aging on the, uh, the hardware. You can see a little bit, you know, there. But for God's sake, this thing's 30 years old. That's it. That's the worst you can say about it. Let's go ahead and get it out of the case here. And show you the back. This thing is beautiful. I've had a few people ask me who saw pictures of it. They said, Keith, what is the green thing on the back? Well, we got this from a guy who was a meticulous, meticulous collector. And this is a piece of felt to protect from buckle rash. So there is no buckle rash on this. There's not even buckle rash on the felt. The thing looks like it's never been played and has just sat in a case for 30 years. I don't see a single mark or ding or scratch anywhere on it. And that's why we do this video so that you can see it for yourself. Every angle of this beauty. I love this natural wood grain. Totally gorgeous. And you can see there's this nice flaming to it as well as the bird's eye in the maple. The most beautiful neck I've ever seen on a bass. Totally gorgeous. And these are the Music Man tuners. Really nice, fine craftsmanship on the machine work there on those gears. I saw this and I had to have it. I've owned this for, oh man, maybe eight or nine months. Actually, this is the second Music Man First or second? Either the first or the second Music Man I've ever purchased, and I've only ever had two. We're asking top money for it, but as you can see, it is a top instrument. You, you cannot replace this for the money I'm asking. You, you couldn't even find one anyway like this in this condition. It doesn't exist. It's the very, very best. I'm not a bass player, but I appreciate fine craftsmanship. I appreciate just art in general, and this is art. And the Stingray is just an iconic bass. So many huge musicians have used this throughout rock history, and jazz, and blues. 
I saw Flea in concert pounding away on one of these bad boys. I've liked them ever since. We may have a 78 Music Man bass coming. Uh, Stingray, I believe. And that is at a buy in London. I'm going into London to a studio that's gone out of business tomorrow. He's got a bunch of vintage instruments, a bunch of vintage basses. He's got some Rickenbacker, I think Warwick, and Music Man. So I should have some cool stuff to show you tomorrow. But this has been lurking in my collection for quite some time, and I just realized I hadn't made a video of it. So I had to pull it out tonight. It's late, super late, 11 o'clock, Saturday night, and now we've got a video. And I also, I needed to do it too just to explain what this, this felt is, because I've had so many people ask me what it is. I'm sure you could just pick it up. I mean, it's natural wood. This is all sealed, so I don't think there'd be any harm in doing it. I would just leave it the way it is. Now you can actually play it and not risk putting any damage to it. Even, the, even these back plates, there's virtually no wear or corrosion on them. You know, they look very minimal. This kind of reminds me of the back of uh, old Rolexes. You see the, the green sticker on the back of them. You could do your own little mini golf course, you get bored. I guess you could do that too. All right guys, that's it. You have a really good idea of what this looks like in person now. Couldn't get any more up close and personal than this. I'd love to hear your comments about it. If you are a Music Man player or you own a bass, uh, a Stingray, let me know how you think this one measures up, how you think the vintage ones compare to the new ones. The, uh, the weight on this is very well balanced, very good. It sounds like the dishes here in the studio are done. <laughs> yeah, so really curious to hear what you guys think. Leave lots of comments. Please subscribe to the channel. As your subscriptions are what's keeping me going. It's why I keep getting these. It's why I keep posting them. And uh, I, I just love waking up, going into the analytics for the channel, and seeing all these people from all over the world watching these videos, leaving these comments. We uh, are over a thousand people a day. It's kind of crazy. This channel is only a few months old. And over a thousand people a day from all over the world. From, from countries you would never even think would be watching these videos. They are. You know, war zones. They're watching. It's cool. So I'm glad, I'm glad people are hanging out with me here on a Saturday night and getting to enjoy these cool instruments too. Makes my day. I'll see you all tomorrow with some more videos. Pop on over to Facebook as well, Essex Recording Studios. Give us a like. And if you're in the UK, you want to record with instruments like this. That's why we have them. They're here for you guys. All right? I got eight seconds left, so I got to sign off and get some more memory on this phone. Bye, guys.